is nowhere left to run to as the end draws near. Our world is collapsing in front of our eyes as a result of what we have been dreading happening for a long time. Finally, Betelgeuse, the dazzling red supergiant star, has burst into flame. The much-expected supernova has finally burst, endangering the stability of our planet and signaling the start of a dreadful new era for humanity. What evidence did scientists find that led them to this conclusion? In the event of an explosion, how brilliant would Betelgeuse be in the night sky? Is it possible that this explosion will cause our world to end? Come explore the intricacies of Betelgeuse's just detonated state with us in today's video. Something horrifying is occurring. Betelgeuse has been enthralling viewers from Earth with its stunning splendor in the night sky for ages. The crimson big star mesmerizes everyone with its seductive appearance, almost as if it were casting a spell. Betelgeuse is one of the stars that shines brightly enough for humans to see, a prominent member of the exclusive league. This red supergiant star, which is the 10th brightest star in the night sky and is located in the Orion constellation, is visible to everyone due to its reddish-orange hue. Betelgeuse is one of the three stars that form the Winter Triangle Asterism and is noteworthy for being the center of the Winter Hexagon. This indicates that Betelgeuse can be observed rising in the east just after dusk, starting at the beginning of January each year. With the exception of Antarctica, almost every inhabited place on Earth can see the star once it reaches mid-September and continues to do so until mid-March. Therefore, on a normal day, when the sun sets and the night becomes darker, Betelgeuse can be seen in the constellations that light up the sky. Betelgeuse is veiled in a thick shroud of mystery, yet being visible to the unaided eye. Its interesting brightness variation, which has persisted for as long as humans can remember, is a source of amusement for scientists. Researchers were forced to put their thinking caps on after noticing this unusual characteristic. Ultimately, they developed theories to account for this distinct phenomena. It turns out that the vast size of the red giant is responsible for its fluctuating brightness. Betelgeuse is not your typical star because it is larger than its counterparts. For example, if we were to substitute Betelgeuse for our sun, this magnificent star would reach the asteroid belt and have 20 times the mass of our solar system. Amazing, isn't that right? Even if this fact seems fascinating, it pales in comparison to its other astounding qualities. Scientists were astonished to learn that Betelgeuse was a young star, estimated to be between 8 and 10 million years old, when they conducted additional research on the planet. Astronomers took some time to come to terms with the fact that the star was quite old. This is because, considering its astounding properties in comparison to our Sun, which is thought to be 4.6 billion years old, they were expecting the star to be considerably older. Though our Sun is far older than Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse is still a baby. In other respects, the red supergiant makes up for this. Furthermore, experts have helped us comprehend the cause of Betelgeuse's enormous size and brightness. Research has shown that supergiant stars, such as Betelgeuse, quickly deplete their nuclear fuel and explode in a supernova. This indicates that stars of this type evolve quickly, and based on what little has been pieced together from historical documents, it is clear that Betelgeuse's evolution occurred directly in front of human eyes. The captivating tale of Betelgeuse started long before anyone is currently alive on Earth, but we must begin at the beginning, or at least the known beginning, in order to comprehend how astronomers arrived at the conclusion that the red giant star had burst. In order to provide a clear picture of the issues at hand, we will be going from context all the way down to the scraps of evidence that scientists have just discovered. It promises to be a fascinating adventure. The intriguing beginning of this tale dates back to the second century BC when Chinese astronomers made a finding that made them smile. It was a distinctive looking star with a yellow tint that they had noticed under the bright night sky. It was called Betelgeuse. If we were to jump ahead a few scenes to the next significant historical event, we would arrive in the middle of the 2nd century AD, when the Greco-Roman astronomer Ptolemy was enthralled by Betelgeuse's attractive appearance and gave it the still accurate description of being orangish or ruddy. Similarly, observers from the Middle Ages had reported seeing a similar coloring. The topic that has been bothering everyone at this point is, how were colors named or perceived in the past? However, we must not lose sight of the fact that there is a chance that it resembled an unexpected nightmare that had come true. 
When Beetlejuice started to improve and the star's brilliance started to rise steadily to its glory days, scientists sighed with satisfaction. Nevertheless, the spectacular show did not end there. The storm is far from over. Based on what scientists have seen thus far, the star appears to be in a state that is even more peculiar than simple dimming right now. More shocking behavior that Betelgeuse displays in recent times has confused researchers and caused anxiety for the scientific community worldwide. The news that Beetle's brightness has not only increased but surpassed its average luminance is all the buzz of the town. The decreasing light was no longer an issue. Instead, we were dealing with a far more serious and dangerous issue. The brightness of the star has risen over the predicted range. Researchers watched with bated breaths as Betelgeuse brightness continued to rise, eventually surpassing its average luminance by more than 50% the astronomy world has been in turmoil as a result of this unexpected occurrence, with both novice and expert astronomers devoting their time to re-examining the data gathered from observations. They have been working very hard to come up with a plausible explanation for these strange happenings that have happened right in front of our eyes, like a bad movie. Some scientists think that dust or cycles that coincide could be the origin of these dimming occurrences in an attempt to identify the source of this issue. The possibility that the star possesses massive sunspots has also emerged from the shadows of this troubling issue. However, a significant rise in brightness is a different matter, one that necessitates further study in order to fully understand. However, some scientists think that the two events might be related. They have presented a convincing narrative to support their claims that the enhanced brightness may be connected to the earlier incident. The star's plasma flow may have been significantly disrupted when Betelgeuse ejected debris during the infamous 2019 incident. Consequently, it wouldn't be incorrect to suggest that the behavior we are currently exhibiting could be a result of that ejection incident. While we ponder this prospect, scientists have discovered an alternative that might help us get through this confusing situation and end this chaotic period once and for all. With the support of numerous eminent scientists, this explanation has gained traction throughout time and put an end to this heated debate. Scientists have conjectured that Beetle's extraordinary rise in brightness is due to the red giant star possibly approaching the supernova phase. A supernova is a unique occurrence that will undoubtedly be recorded in history books. A supernova is a star's intense, bright explosion. Based on the information that scientists have managed to gather thus far, a supernova often happens when a white dwarf is set off on a path toward runaway nuclear fusion or during the latter phases of a massive star's life. Following the start of this process, the initial object, referred to as the progenitor, would either completely collapse into a diffuse nebula or collapse into a neutron star or black hole. It is not something to joke with, as the energy that would be produced if Betelgeuse exploded today might seriously harm the surrounding area. An ordinary individual would be alarmed at the mere notion of this, an explosion with the potential to emit so much energy, roughly equal to the sun's lifetime energy output, would scare the heck out of anyone. Consider the enormous quantity of radiation produced by a single incident. A worldwide health emergency may need to be proclaimed if that radiation, which includes cosmic X and gamma rays, enters the Earth's atmosphere. This is due to the fact that studies have shown that radiation can harm DNA and other cellular components, increasing the risk of cell death, mutations, and cancer. The idea of the possible health issues is extremely unsettling. Thus, it would be best for us if this radiation never reached our planet. Scientists, however, have reassured us that there is no need for concern and that we can relax. This is due to the fact that the Earth's atmosphere is more than capable of protecting humans from any dangerous radiation that might be emitted following Betelgeuse explosion. For many astronomers, the prospect of Betelgeuse going supernova at any point in the near future has been enough to keep them up at night. Even if conservative calculations show that the star is still 100,000 years away from its upcoming supernova catastrophe, we can't hold scientists responsible for their reaction evidence that this event has happened directly in front of our eyes has been found by certain researchers. When this information showed up, everyone was taken aback as we struggled to accept the grim reality. The proof is found in a study that Huki Sayo and associates from Japan's Tohoku University published. This scientific discovery is truly remarkable and has thrown a bombshell right in front of us. 
Before we could intervene, Betelgeuse had already undergone a supernova explosion. Even more terrifying is the possibility that within the next 10 or so years, we may begin to feel the effects of this brilliant cosmic event. We're receiving unexpected and strange cosmic exhibitions at our door, and it won't be long until they go through. The last known supernova explosion in our galaxy was Kepler's supernova, which happened in the 1600s, and astronomers are still in disbelief over this discovery. That was many centuries ago. Scholars have begun to examine Betelgeuse's patterns of variability, and their findings have left them in a state of shock. They have discovered four discrete periodic variations that happen around every 2200, 420, 230, and 185 days. Scientists think the largest period is fundamental, with the short intervals possibly acting as overtones, even if its genesis is still a mystery. According to a model developed by scientists, Betelgeuse appears to be burning carbon at a late stage. This indicates that the red star could be about to explode in a way that has never been seen before, making it a strong contender for the next predicted supernova event in our galaxy if we decipher the encrypted message correctly. But this is far from a finished story. Scientists' curious minds have led to the discovery of a few plot holes. Regarding the material ejection and the star's subsequent recovery, different observations have been made over time. Though on a smaller scale than our Sun, there is general consensus that this point leans towards a mass ejection event, which is not unprecedented for different kinds of stars. The tail reaches its peak at this point. It is true that supernovae exist. In 1987, we saw one play out in real time. As a result, everyone should be vigilant even though our predictions regarding Betelgeuse's explosion may not be accurate. We can't let our guard down too much on this unsettling potential particularly if we go back to how difficult it was to watch Betelgeuse. Astronomers frequently have a difficult time when the brilliant star disappears behind the sun. It won't be visible until August. Scientists are left in the dark about what this fascinating star is up to during that time, leaving them powerless. What is known, though, is that it is brightening, defying its typical patterns. This is where things really get crazy. Considering the star's enormous size and closeness, about 650 light-years away, we are able to resolve a disk when we observe it. The fact that the majority of stars are too far away to be more than just points of light adds to the story's intrigue. But Betelgeuse tells a different story since it gives us the unique chance to photographically record direct variations in its light output. As a result, in addition to having a star that may go supernova, we also have enough information to gather including somewhat fuzzy photos. For a time now, we've entertained the notion that Betelgeuse might go supernova. The intriguing tale continues by asking us to imagine the consequences of a red giant star explosion. What does it signify for our world and ourselves? The first response to this query is that we would be greeted by an enthralling sight whose dazzling display in the night sky would captivate everyone. But because we are safe back on Earth, there's no need for our hearts to rush at the memory of this incident. All everything being equal, nothing bad should happen to us. This is because Betelgeuse is around 500 light years away from Earth. Therefore, we would be protected from any crippling effects of the explosion in the event that it went supernova. But while the moon will still be in charge, we should be aware that it won't be the brightest object in the night sky. Despite Betelgeuse's menacing eruption, the moon will surpass it as the brightest object in the sky. Moreover, Betelgeuse still needs to deal with the sun, which is unwilling to give up its dazzling dominance over our world for any reason. Still, the red supergiant star will create shadows at night and be visible for about a year during the day. As we go more into the possibilities, the story gets increasingly intriguing. For example, the supernova associated with Betelgeuse will be visible in the night sky for a number of years before it gradually disappears. It may, however, return to some of its previous brightness for a short while, before gradually fading until the well-known shoulder star in the constellation, Orion, vanishes completely. While we are safe from this supernova, other organisms are not so fortunate, according to scientists. Some organisms can become confused by the supernova. This is due to the fact that certain animals rely on moonlight for navigation, hence the addition of another strong light source creating shadows in the sky could slightly deceive them. This option broadens its scope to include astronomy, which will suffer during this time. Astronomers would be up against an extremely difficult task, because it can be quite difficult to observe the moon when the night sky is brilliant. 
Now consider the consequences of adding a really brilliant supernova to the scene. It would make things much more complicated. Furthermore, the grandeur of the explosion will be the primary focus of many telescopes. If achieving this aim required modifying their observations, they would still pursue it. Additionally, astronomers would have adequate time to set up their telescopes since warning indicators such as the emergence of neutrinos and gravity waves would occur prior to the apparent explosion. The public has been pleading with NASA to use the James Webb Telescope to look at Betelgeuse residue over time. While there have been some unfounded rumors that the Space Telescope has found the remnants of the red supergiant star, scientists have decided to set the record straight. They have stated that neither the Webb Telescope nor its position will allow it to find the star's remnants at this time. This is a result of Betelgeuse's brightness surpassing Webb. The Webb Telescope was built with the express purpose of finding extremely faint objects in the immensity of the universe. Now the blinding light of Betelgeuse would face the telescope if it turned its lens toward it. The Webb Telescope's detectors would be overwhelmed by the intensity of the brightness. We would not want this particular incident to happen since we are not yet prepared to lower our priceless Webb. With an infrared K-band magnitude of around 4.378, Betelgeuse is approximately 1585 times brighter than the Webb filter's saturation limitations. Trying to look at the sun without sunglasses offers a clear picture of how serious this problem is. Just picture the effects on your eyes. The Webb telescope is powerless to detect or predict the exact moment at which Betelgeuse would go supernova, but fear not. Many other observatories have been bestowed upon us by scientists that are able to accomplish this task. These ground and space-based observatories are outfitted with state-of-the-art technologies that will enable us to predict when the massive star will explode. So as not to come as a surprise, we would be able to accurately record the aftermath of this momentous explosion and potentially unravel the perplexing mysteries behind this cosmic extravaganza because of these observatories. Let's keep a watch on these observatories and see what they discover in the upcoming days in the meantime. We appreciate you tuning in to another episode. To view more incredible videos like this one, click on the video that is currently showing on your screen.